This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to one of our native ash species. The ashes can be difficult to identify in some cases, but this particular species provides us a really good hint with both its name, which refers to a twig characteristic, and its appearance. And that is blue ash, or Fraxinus quadrangulata. And the quadrangulata refers to the fact that this species has corky ridges, four of them along the twigs, and new growth in particular, that give the twigs almost a square look and cross section, thus quadrangulata. As in all the ashes, the species has opposite leaf arrangement. It has compound leaves that are pinnately held, and oftentimes there are seven to nine, or in some cases more, leaflets. Stout twigs to hold those large leaflets in place, and typically a pretty prominent terminal bud. Blue ash, for whatever reason, and it may be some significant genetic differences as compared to some of our other ash, other ash species, seems to have some resistance to the emerald ash borer that has been so hard on our green, white, and black ash in the state of Indiana. We're finding more and more blue ash that's actually seeming to escape the uh, mortality caused by the emerald ash borer larva eating the cambium of our other ash species. And we hope this will continue. Blue ash is also a little bit different from other ashes in terms of its bark characteristics. Most of our other ashes, particularly green and white, have a strong ridged interlacing pattern, almost like diamonds, uh, on the bark of the more mature trees. Where blue ash will typically have this very flaky, platy pattern and more of an ashy gray color to the bark. Blue ash also has the characteristics of retaining lower branches and so oftentimes has much more branches on the lower stem than some of the other ash species that we will see commonly in Indiana. And so blue ash, Fraxinus quadrangulata, those four corky ridges along the stems that give it its name, and also help us with its ID.